Dupuytren's disease is a condition that affects the, the palm of the hand and fingers. It, it's a development of a thickening of the tissue in the palm we call the palmar fascia. So beneath our skin there's a, a layer of tissue called fascia which is there to give the palm mechanical integrity or toughness just like as on the bottom of our feet we have plantar fascia and over time it can become thickened, develop knots, cords or even cause the fingers to draw up what we call contracture. So disease can affect any area of the palm or the fingers and can cause the, the fingers to actually draw up, which of course can compromise function, can make it hard to open the hand, put on a glove, the fingers can get in the way, um, get caught on things. So it can become fairly debilitating in advanced cases. In early cases, it just tends to cause nodularity or thickening of areas of the palm. That can be painful or tender when gripping or grasping objects. The, the timeline for developing contraction in Dupuytren's is variable. Some patients will have nodules or cords for years or decades without any progression of disease. And then some patients will have rapid progression of contracture over the period of even months. If the patient has pain, painful nodules or cords, or disease that's early without significant contracture, they may opt for a series of cortisone shots, corticosteroid injections, in order to try to slow the progression of disease, soften up the cords, keep them from advancing and becoming thicker and or more contracted. And that can be effective in some patients. In more advanced cases, we either do office-based procedures or surgical procedures in order to try to release the cords and get the hand uh, uh, more open again. I don't particularly like the word disease because it has implications of a, a more terrifying problem. It's a benign condition, it's not cancerous, it doesn't lead to other problems otherwhere in the body, it's limited to the hand, but it certainly can be a major problem for certain patients, especially with advanced or significant disease as it can affect the function of the hand.